It's a beautiful 1957 Harley Davidson Hydroglide clone. The clone is a bike built to the original standards of an older bike, but with modern and sometimes original parts. This one was built in the 90s to closely match a 1957 Hydroglide. Many of the original components have been updated to make the bike more reliable and rideable. Its front end is an original 1957 Hydroglide front attached to a modern manufacturing reproduction black powder coated 1957 rigid frame. The wondrous sound this bike breathes out is unique and amazing. That thunderous sound comes from an SNS special order knuckle crankcase. Truly really an amazing engine with great sound. balanced by Truett and Osborne cycles of Wichita, Kansas. It has 3 and 5 8 SNS cylinders with Evo flat top pistons. It has SNS gray cast iron cylinder heads with 2 inch intake valves. Flywheel is a 4 and 3 8 stroker flywheel, also from Truett and Osborne. This bike is over 90 cubic inches. Electric is made by a Cycle Electrics 12 volt generator with a built in regulator, and the battery is held in a custom oil tank under the seats. Oil is filtered by a pure power oil filter. This has a stainless steel micron mesh element that never needs replace, just have to keep it clean. Juice is delivered to the powerful cylinders through an SNS Super E carburetor. Beautiful and smooth. Abundant spark is controlled by a Mallory ignition with a single cell fire module. Works great. To start the thunder, this Hydroglide has an all balls 12 volt starter that never fails to excite. All this torque is ran through an STD inner primary and original outer primary drive from 1965 and 1969 to a rock solid RevTech transmission case with a close ratio gear set from Andrews. Shifts are smooth, positive, and strong. All this brawn, beauty, and might is stopped with GMA disc brakes front and rear. I truly enjoyed this Hydroglide, even asked if it was for sale. No, not really, but you know, its owner said. I really do like the new electric glides. Does that mean that there's a chance this thing could be bought? I don't know. It really is a unique motorcycle. If you've enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit subscribe. We can use the support. Also, please share and like this video. It really does help a lot. From Forgotten Motorcycles, thank you.